Steward your call. Judges chapter 13, verses 3 to 5. And the angel of the Lord appeared to the woman and said to her, Indeed now you are barren and have borne no children, but you shall conceive and bear a son. Now therefore please be careful not to drink wine or similar drink, and not to eat anything unclean. For behold, you shall conceive and bear a son, and no razor shall come upon his head. For the child shall be a Nazarite to God from the womb, and he shall begin to deliver Israel out of the hand of the Philistines. This week, we like to take some time to consider the life of Samson, one of the judges of Israel, and learn some lessons from his life. Now, we understand that there was this 400-year period between uh, Joshua, right after Joshua, until the first prophet emerged, Samuel. And uh, during that time, uh, Israel was governed or led or protected or cared for by people we refer to as judges. Uh, and Samson was one of them. Uh, Samson's life is very interesting because he had, as we read here in, in, this, in this passage, uh, a, a, an unusual call, which was actually given by an angel to his parents uh, with the instruction that, hey, this is how this child is supposed to be raised. And I'm sure that as, as Samson was growing up, his parents would have explained this on numerous occasions to him that, uh, you know, an angel came, announced your birth and gave us very specific instructions on how we were to bring you up. You were to be brought up as a Nazarite. And so, you know, Samuel would have wanted to go for a haircut and his mom would have said, no haircut for you. Why? Because the angel said, no razor should come on your head. Samson may have wanted to do other things that maybe young people in his day would do. And his mom said, no. Why? You're a Nazarite. You are consecrated to God. And so Samuel grew up knowing, having, hearing constantly, there's a call on your life. It was announced to us by an angel. You are being, you have been raised up to deliver Israel. Now, sure enough, Samson did that for 20 years as he grew up and, and he came into, uh, 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 into adulthood. He uh, judged Israel for 20 years. Uh, but as we progress to the book of Judges and look at the life of Samson, even though he had been made aware of his call and in some measure fulfilled that call, yet there were very unfortunate things that happened that led to the downfall of Samson and deprived Israel of a life and of a, uh, the tenure of a judge who could have served them in a much greater measure and in a much better way. So the message I want to just uh, let us know here as we open up our study on Samson is this. It's important not only to have a great call, it's, it's good to know that you have a wonderful call on your life and so on, but I think more important than that, it is to steward the call that God has placed on your life. If Samson had stewarded that call, what would have happened? It's left to our imagination how he would have been able to serve the people. But surely he had a great call, but in some measure failed to steward that call. Maybe learn from Samson's life that we, as God has given us a call, each one of us called us to do certain things for his kingdom, whatever it might be, in whatever capacity, whatever measure, whatever stature, we are responsible to steward the call that has been given to us by God. That we learn to live and maintain lives that are consecrated to God so that the call of God on our lives can be protected, nurtured, and brought to fullness. Let's steward. God's call on our lives. Let's pray. Father, we ask you that you would help us learn lessons from Samson's life and help us in our day and our time to be faithful to the call, to steward the call you've placed on our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.